In this video, we will be taking a look at the radiology workflow at SUNY Downstate's radiology department. Throughout the presentation, we will review the radiology workflow from when an imaging procedure is ordered to being completed, demonstrate where mistakes can occur during the different phases of workflow, and provide tips on how to identify and correct these problems. As an overview, the workflow in general follows these steps. First, order placement and patient registration, order scheduling, image acquisition, image management and archival, and finally, imaging review and reporting. In the order and scheduling phase, imaging orders for inpatients, ED patients, and outpatients are generated by placing orders in the Hospital Electronic Medical Record System, also known as EMR. Paper orders for outside physicians, such as prescriptions and faxes, are entered into the Radiology Information System, or RIS. Once the orders are placed, the Radiology Registrar schedules outpatient appointments, while technologists schedule inpatient and ED patients as new orders appear in the tech work list in RIS. When the orders are placed, they appear as the ordered status in RIS. A few notes to keep in mind. During the scheduling phase, when orders are scheduled, they change to the scheduled status in RIS. An accession number is assigned to the ordered exam and the modality work list is updated to reflect the change. No imaging is performed at this stage, however. You can review any prior exams or lab work for the patient, and any questions for radiologists can be addressed. In this stage, cancellations and reorders can be made without major downstream impact. However, any cancellations will require a documented reason in RIS. Next, let's take a look at the PERFORM phase, where the images are acquired. First, the patient arrives to the scheduled appointment. Upon arrival, the technologist prints the RIS order. Here, we encounter our first quality heart stop. The technologist must review the patient's demographic data and order information with the patient using the RIS order to ensure the accuracy of the exam. Critical identifying information such as patient's name, date of birth, laterality, type of exam, and reason for the exam must be checked. Once verified, the patient is then brought into the room. The technologist then uses the RIS document to verify patient selection and exam in the CT scanner work list. Finally, the patient is scanned. A few notes to keep in mind. During the PERFORM phase, when patients arrive to the radiology department, the technologist marks the patient as having arrived. For inpatients and ED patients, orders will move from scheduled to arrived status. For outpatients, the orders will appear as registered instead. The technologist can then perform three actions in RIS as the study is being performed, begin, end, and mark. As the name implies, begin begins the exam, at which point the study will appear as started. End will end the exam once the images have been acquired, and mark completes the exam once images are checked in packs and confirmed to be satisfactory. Any additional comments regarding the exam can be added under the comment section in RIS. For portable technologists, they can also comment or mark the exam to document the time of completion in case multiple exams are acquired on many patients in a short time period. If additional technologists are performing the exam, their names can also be added in RIS under the following fields. Orders then move to the PERFORM status once the order information has been validated and the images are acquired. Note that cancellations cannot occur once images are acquired. If the patient is unable to tolerate the exam, the partial exam must be sent for review and a billing exception will be applied to the partial study. Reorders can still be made during this phase within reason. For example, changing from a CT without contrast to a CT with contrast is acceptable by replacing the order. Changes in modality of the exam cannot occur, however. For example, a CT exam cannot become a CR exam. Next, let's take a look at the review phase and exam completion. After image acquisition, the technologist must evaluate the quality by reviewing the data in packs and reporting any discrepancies to the radiology IT staff. Here, we encounter our second quality heart stop. 
Once the study is performed, the technologist should verify accurate image acquisition, image count, accession number, window and level, reformats, and laterality. Any comments for the exam can be entered in RIS during this stage. Once images are acquired, the technologist should sign the printed order and scan the document into RIS. Once reviewed and confirmed, the technologist will select End in RIS, which sends the images to PAX. Verify that the images are in PAX and mark the exam as complete in RIS. Now the exam is ready for interpretation. A few notes to keep in mind. During the review phase, orders will move from the performed to the review status once the order information has been validated, images are acquired and validated, and exam comments have been entered and any scanned documents have been attached. Once verified, the order will move to the complete status and the patient will be billed on completion. Lastly, let's take a look at the completion and reporting phase. Once exams are sent for interpretation, they appear in the radiologist's work list. Any stat exams will have a stat flag next to them. Radiologists are only able to dictate exams once they are placed in the complete status. The radiologist then reviews the DICOM data and renders a report using the voice recognition system. Finally, the radiologist signs off on the report, which is then delivered to all downstream systems, such as RIS, PAX, and HealthBridge. A few notes to keep in mind. During the complete phase, the radiologist reviews all images and documentations attached to the order and provides the dictation. For resident dictations, the study will appear as provisional in RIS and dictated in PAX. When an attending radiologist signs the report, the report then becomes finalized. Please remember that final reports are legal documents and cannot be deleted. Therefore, any modifications will require an addendum. Here are some helpful workflow tips. Do not mark the exam as complete if any of the following issues occur. There's a mix-up. It is important to please make sure that the exam is being performed on the correct patient. There is an issue with the original order. There are no images in packs. Or the images haven't been attached to the correct accession number. In this case, please make sure that the exam is not being performed on a cancelled order. Always use the accession number to start the exam. If the MRN is used, the patient may have multiple exams ordered, and the wrong order might be selected accidentally. Verify that the images and reformats have crossed the packs correctly before marking the exam as complete. Taking the time to verify the correct patient, exam, and proper image acquisition is part of the universal protocol. Failing to adhere to the validation process can result in a patient safety issue. These safety issues can negatively impact patient care and can potentially delay management of life-threatening situations. Also, please make sure to mark the exam once it's been completed and checked for quality so that the exam is not left in arrived status because the radiologist will not be able to generate a report on a timely manner. Make all changes during the schedule or arrived phases. Any cancellations or reorders can be made without major impact during these stages. If an order is placed through RIS, that order can be modified at any time prior to arriving the patient in RIS. For example, if a two-view chest x-ray is ordered, the technologist should not only perform a single view. If the patient is unable to tolerate both views, the order should be cancelled and reordered through RIS to reflect the change, and the ordering physician should be notified. Once finalized, the final report cannot be changed unless with an addendum. Lastly, stop and ask for help when needed. The best way to avoid delays or errors in patient care is to seek help. If something looks wrong or there is a question about how to proceed, stop and ask for help or clarification. The sooner assistance is requested, the greater the likelihood of a successful outcome. And as a review, here is a handy flowchart detailing everything we've talked about in this presentation as we go down the various phases of the radiology workflow. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. 
and thanks for being a part of the SUNY Downstate Radiology team.